So here's everything you're going to need to install the roof vent. Roof vent got off of Amazon. I built a frame out of uh, 2x3 that I will be adhering and then connecting into the steel roof beam. Putty tape comes with some screws, uh, lap sealant, uh, self-leveling kind to put on top of the screws once they're placed. Drill, some drill bits, and a jigsaw, and obviously measuring tape with marker to measure this out because I'm going to be drilling a hole into the roof of my trailer. All right, so what I'm about to do is I'm going to take my drill with just a small drill bit on it, and I've marked out <clears throat> the center line and basically the area that has to be cut out. So I think the best way to do this is use a jigsaw from the top. But uh, in order to get this template up on the roof side, what I'm gonna have to do is trace it and I need a reference point. So what I will do is drill a hole starting from the center through the roof and then probably one on each corner. Maybe do all four corners or just do the edges here and then that way I'll know why 14 inches wide and 14 inches long where I need to cut so I can trace out. Then after that, I'll take a larger drill bit, drill a bigger hole through the roof from the top side, and then be able to get my jigsaw through it and then start making the cut. Here goes nothing. First hole in the trailer. I see daylight. <laughs> there and then go on the roof and start mapping it out. The holes I just drilled through, there's three of them. Obviously the one in the middle is my center mark and so now I'm gonna be able to draw my boundary of what I'm gonna be cutting out. So I drew my boundary 14 inches by 14 inches and I used my three holes that I cut from the underside to guide and uh, to make sure that it's square. Uh, I've been using the square edge obviously. I can also measure the diagonals and so I got 19 and 3 quarters, 19 and 3 quarters and so I know that it's square and plump and now I can start drilling the larger holes to get the jigsaw in. So 
Oh, got the hole cut. Now time for a test fit. And I can also say that fits really good. So yeah, the uh, screws on the front side um, are gonna go into the steel beam. And then I've made a wood frame for this that the uh, screws on the three other sides will, will screw into. Um, the way I'm gonna attach the, the frame is basically just PL glue on this plywood stuff to hold it in place and then secure it through the, uh, I'm gonna drill holes through the roof beams, um, sort of on the outside edges and sort of pinch it in place. All right, I'm just gonna show you guys how I decided to do the frame here. So you can see I drilled two holes there and two holes there and I'll be doing uh, four other holes on the other side and essentially with my frame. And now you can see that I can secure it through the frame and uh, keep it in place. I'm also gonna put PL uh, construction glue adhesive on the underside, but this is just kind of like a due diligence, um, just because I want this thing to stay in place. And then once I run the insulation, it's the same thickness, so the insulation board will go in between uh, the studs here. Center punch is a very good handy tool. I think I need sharper heel bits. Two left to go. Framing's all in place. You can see where I drilled the holes and put the screws through. And I drilled holes instead of putting self-tappers and whatnot because it doesn't really matter about the screw going into the steel. All I want to do is sandwich it using the head of the screw and the, th the threads so that it holds it in place. Nice and flush, nice and clean. It's time to pull this out. I might just put some clamps on to hold it in place for a bit. Well, I put the butyl tape and uh, start screwing in from the top, uh, installing the, uh, the vent permanently. So once you have your hole drilled, you're going to want to use your handy dandy file and get rid of the, the burrs that you created. See, it's pretty sharp. So now the fun part, almost done. I just got to grab this uh, sealant butyl tape and uh, basically run it all along the screw holes here around the perimeter. Make sure there's no holes, make sure it's nice and sealed, and then uh, place it back on the trailer, fasten the screws through, and then put uh, some self-leveling sealant on top of the screw heads. this is going the right way so hinge side towards the front of the trailer
roof vents all installed. Uh, I had a little bit of a problem I had to figure out. The um, screws provided obviously aren't self tappers and they wouldn't screw into the steel beam below. So on the back here where there's five screws, I replaced them with uh, these longer self tapping screws and uh, that seemed to do the trick. So oh, roof vents all installed. Obviously I don't have the power hook up right now, but perfect. Yeah, it's nice and solid in there. It's not going anywhere. So vents all installed now. Looking pretty good. Just finished putting on some um, self-leveling sealant, RV stuff. Um, waiting for that to cure and then, uh, yeah. Thank you.